What will you expect in the early stages of a streak? So what do I call early stages of a streak? I really believe that the early stages are from day zero to 21 days of a retention streak. And this is the toughest time of a retention streak. I recall several times over the past few years where trying to get to three weeks was an absolute nightmare. It was just so hard. And once I broke that barrier, things just became exponentially easier for me. But I want to touch on the psychological and the metaphysical and the physical aspects as well that happen during a streak and also how they may relate to the kind of attraction you may get or the kind of signals you may get in general from the opposite sex. So let's get straight into it. Stage one, I really believe is called the emptiness, emptiness syndrome. Now emptiness syndrome, I'm saying this correctly, emptiness syndrome is basically this weird metaphysical phenomenon where it doesn't matter where you go, whether it's a, whether it's a shops, whether it's a supermarket, you know, whether it's the petrol station, restaurant, the pub, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't seem, it just seems like if all the women have just left the town they just gone somewhere else. And it's, all, it's almost like if they just locked themselves inside the houses. You just go, you're walking around and you just can't find a single woman. I mean, if you do find a woman, it's, it's kind of rare. And it's just very weird. It's just such a strange phenomenon. Why is it that all the women have disappeared? And I believe, metaphysically, taking a deep dive, that you are reflecting shame you know, because you've relapsed, you've binged, and you've just emptied yourself of sexual energy. And therefore, metaphysically, you're aligning with that. And because of that, you don't feel you deserve the female or deserve the opposite sex. And so that's reflecting your reality. You just find that there's, there's literally nothing out there. So I believe that is what's happening metaphysically. Now, psychologically, the toughest thing about this stage one is the frustration. Like, I, I remember just, just feeling like uh, I want to go out, you know, socialize. But then everywhere I just went, it was just lads. You know, it was just like a, a sausage fest. You know, I went to the pub, it was just full of lads, and I was like, what's going on? And I was like, is it payday? Is it, is it because there's a lot, it's payday and there's a lot of lads, and I was just looking at my phone, just looking at the calendar. It's very strange to me. But metaphysically, as I thought about it years later, that's probably what was happening. I just didn't feel like I deserved it. And so I was reflecting outside, uh, outside myself. However, there's a caveat to this. I really believe that those who have been through heavy binges, if you're someone who's literally never been on a semen retention streak, and you've just been binging for years and years and years, and one day you decide to go for like a week, and it's like the first time in your life you've gone like seven days, this may be, interestingly, the first time that you see the looks, the subtle look. I've talked about this before, the subtle look from women. Because really you're beginning to reach boiling point. This is the first time in your life that, you're, that you've retained your energy and therefore you look interesting. It's like, I really believe metaphysically we're connected to each other on an energetic level. And when you reach a certain breakthrough in your life, in your own life, everyone sub somehow subconsciously, subconsciously knows this. And therefore it's no surprise that you suddenly start to get subtle looks from women and you will feel like an accident. You will start to be like, is this real life? Like, why are they looking at me? And even you even turn around to see if the, the girl's looking at someone else. It's because you've reached a new point in your life. Suddenly going from zero no, to hero, or should I say the other way around? Going from several binge cycles to zero binge cycles. It's a complete 180. And metaphysically, I believe that it's because women are secretly on our side. And that is why they use these, you know, looks or smiles to encourage us to actually go further on our streaks. That's my, that's my belief metaphysically. Stage two is when 
you can start to actually breathe, you know. You're starting to get some momentum. So maybe two weeks into a streak and your energy is starting to return back to you. Your posture is starting to change slightly and you're just starting to feel like a human being again. And this is where the people come back, you know. You start to see women when you're walking around in general. They're not going to be the most attractive women to you in terms of what you want. But they're going to be, you know, the typical woman and a lot of older women as well. This is what I've experienced. And if you're someone who'd been, you know, heavily binging and you went two weeks, that's like extraordinary. So you may even get some smiles and that may really boost your ego and make you feel like, yeah, I need to go longer on your streak and experience even more. I want to know what's at the end of this. And I'll, I'll even say for some people, there's physical changes that are very, very noticeable. I can never forget my friend um, in uni. He was a heavy porn addict. He used to openly talk about it. Um, we used to talk about, in general, just how, <laughs> yeah, the kind of stuff he used to watch and stuff. And I remember he went on a, he went on this, um, this summer holiday tour, this thing called Beach Break, basically. You just go down to the beach and enjoy some music and artists. I didn't go, but I remember when he came back from that, and I looked at his eyes. His eyes just looked otherworldly. I, I literally, it was scary. I've never seen someone's eyes. Um, just how, so imagine he's got brown eyes, but he had like a blue edge around it. It almost looked alien. That's how scary it looked. I felt like I was looking at some sort of alien creature because the, the, just the presence, the, the energy that was coming off his eyes was just something I'd never seen in him before. And it was obvious, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't um, do anything. He couldn't watch PMO. He had no access to his computer. He just had to enjoy the music on the beach. So yeah, it was just obvious that he was on a streak and that for him, going from zero, you know, going from total binges to zero was really affecting him physically. Stage three um, of the early stages of, a, of um, attraction and the retention streak. This is when you will suddenly find that your town is full of young, attractive women. They just come out of the woodworks, out of nowhere. I've had this happen to me where I was like, I was living in a really small town. I didn't realize this person even existed, or these people even existed. You go to the supermarket and there's like five of them and you're walking around like, this is very unusual. Or you go to the gym and suddenly, your gym, which is usually full of guys, just, you know, heavily muscled and just like doing their thing. Suddenly it's just got a bunch of women just working out next to you like since when did they sign up and it's very interesting this metaphysical phenomenon you're starting to lose the shame i believe and you're starting to feel the confidence in yourself and you're starting to believe that you deserve someone in your life and so it starts to show up as you know as below as above so below as i say and that's that's what happens in your life you start to see it reflected and you know just to encompass all these three stages one thing I've noticed is that women's are, women are very hands off at this stage. You're not going to get any physical interactions really, but you will get looks. And the attractive women, stage three, are not going to necessarily look at you or even smile at you, but they will be there. You may get looks and smiles from the average woman or the older woman, because they tend to be the ones who smile first, in my experience. But in general, you're just going to feel more confident in yourself and you're gonna feel more deserving psychologically and also metaphysically. And another thing that I've noticed as well, when I did my first ever three week streak, a proper three week of um, no PMO, uh, semen retention, I started getting my erections back. They started to actually repair and I started to feel like it wasn't forced. It was just coming back, my morning wood was coming back and that's a good sign of brain healing. So yeah. That's what I believe summarizes uh, these three stages. And there is one thing I wanna to touch on for stage three. I think that your, your energy body, that metaphysical part of you that can't be seen physically with the eyes, but can be perceived through the peripheral vision. When you look at someone and they look taller than they actually are, then you come across, you know, come right up to them, you realize they're actually not, not that tall. That energy body really begins to grow and fill up the space as you reach stage three. And that's when you walk into a room and people start to look at you. That's when you actually notice that you have a presence 
and you're not just someone who is invisible. And so I think that really strongly relates to the looks you may start to get on, yeah, on semen attention, especially from the opposite sex. They just start to actually notice that you exist and you, a human being, deserving of that respect. So if you find this video insightful, please give it a like as it really helps to get the video out there. Um, drop down your comments below about what you experienced when you went about three weeks on a semen attention streak. I know it's different from everyone, but I love to see what how different it is and what kind of things you really noticed and what kind of things really stood out for you. Um, apart from that, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you haven't already, because it will definitely help you learn new things about this practice. And with that said, guys, peace.